what's up y'all and welcome what's up y'all welcome back okay let's scoot up what's up and welcome back to the channel so some things have changed things are changing in regards to the direction i'm taking my finances in i know that you guys know that i have been trying to pay off credit card debt and been battling home repairs left and right and so recently i have switched the direction in which i am going with my finances once again welcome to life and i'm going to be breaking down the three main questions that i always ask myself before i shift the direction i'm going in just to make sure that the direction i'm going in makes the most sense for me question number one will this actually help to improve my finances or does this have the potential to F things up? Now, yes, if you are working towards a financial goal, ultimately you are working towards improving your financial situation. But working on the wrong thing at the wrong time, no matter you know how good your intention is, it can have the potential to uh, make your financial situation worse. And using me as an example, I had a focus of paying off all of my credit card debt. I have two credit cards remaining, but recently I've had to get a new indoor and outdoor unit for my AC. And that left me with a bill of a few thousand. And I took that from my emergency fund which left breadcrumbs in my account. I have breadcrumbs in my account. Now, yes, I can continue on with the focus of paying off credit card debt, but if I do that and something else in the home breaks down or I am needing a large chunk of money, I'm not gonna have it in my emergency fund to pull from. And so in turn, that can wind up biting me in the butt because I'm going to wind up using my credit cards if something happens because I don't have enough money to cover me. When you're asking yourself this question, you want to take inventory of the things that you have that can be seen as liabilities. And for me, my two main liabilities are number one, my, my home and number two, my car. Like I'm a single mom. I have other little minor liabilities, but these are the two main things that I would need to focus on making sure that I have enough money saved up just in case some expenses pop up from these two things. Question number two, how long is this going to take me? And this is the question where knowing yourself is really going to come into play because we want to be consistent with whatever it is that we are working towards. And a lot of times you have to know yourself to know what to look out for to help you stay consistent. And using myself as an example, again, I am someone I need to visually see things happening. I need quick small wins otherwise I am going to feel like my efforts are are not enough nothing is working fast enough nothing's happening and that is going to encourage me to quit whatever I'm doing of course where you are in the journey is going to play a role aka how seasoned you are if you are a beginner you've just started your financial journey you may need quick wins small quick wins to help keep you motivated because once again we want to build that consistency so that we can make sure that we're actively taking steps to get to whatever goal that we've set and if you are someone that is a little bit more seasoned <laughs> my legs and if you are someone and if you are someone who is more seasoned, you've been on your financial journey doing this thing for a few years, you may be okay um, striving to accomplish something that requires a bit more time, maybe six to 12 months plus, you may be okay with that. Whereas someone who is in the beginning stages, they need something that they can accomplish in less than six months. And so whenever you are looking to change the direction, 
question you want to make sure that based on your season based on where you feel your motivation and consistency is at this time your goal is aligning with that so with me um, choosing to stick to my credit card debt I have a higher balance in credit card debt than what I would need to replenish my emergency fund so that would take me a bit more time and being completely transparent and open and honest with myself I know that I'm needing quicker wins this time around because this new season that I'm in is a new season it is new I'm feeling a bit discouraged being a new homeowner and dealing with you know being hit back to back dealing with being back in credit card debt so in order to keep me consistent in order to help motivate me to stick to my budget so that I can hit my goals I, I'm really going to need something that's more uh, short term and so the emergency fund is going to help me with that because I will be able to achieve that a lot faster. Now, I am not saying completely scrap your goal, but I do recommend setting an end date. What is your target end date? And you can reverse engineer by using the, um, the amount that you're going to need to pay off this certain thing, to save up for this certain thing, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, what is the amount that you are going to need? And then use that amount to determine what your end date would be. Realistically, how much can you save? Realistically, how much can you apply to your debts? And that is going to help you determine your end date. And if that is a little too long, you don't have to scrap the goal, but you will need to go in and adjust the goal as in break it up into smaller, more manageable chunks so that you can stick with your goal and stay consistent. Question number three is what I'm doing ego-driven or am I actually seeking stability? Now, when it comes to money, yes, your ego is gonna be all up and through whatever it is that you are doing. And to be completely honest, I believe that there's always gonna be a little bit of ego in whichever direction that you choose to take your finances. But if your ego is completely calling the shots and it's in the driver's seat, then that can cause you to go in a direction that is not right for you financially. And I say that because your ego makes you very impulsive and when you're impulsive you are making decisions based off emotions it's not a lot of common sense or logic behind it right it's kind of like whenever we go into a store maybe we went to Target and somehow wound up in the home decor section and we see something that we really really want but we don't need and we're getting really impulsive we got that you know I gotta have it I gotta have it I gotta have it mentality and we're convincing ourselves to buy this thing like we are coming up with reasons to justify our purchase and when you are in that impulsive state you're not really leaving a lot of space between your thought and the action and the, the space between your thought and the action this is logic this is common sense. We just kind of skip completely over that and let our emotions, you know, be the, the driving force behind our decisions. And whenever you are letting ego lead you and whatever it is that you're doing financially, it's kind of the same thing. And yes, we want to, you know, run up those stocks. We want to see a certain number when it comes to our net worth. We want to make a certain amount of income. You know, those type of things have a certain wow factor to them. They are exciting. They're thrilling and kind of like mosquitoes to a light. We gravitate towards those things. We tr gravitate towards trying to set those goals above the more basic ones. And we gravitate towards people maybe online that are doing these certain type of things because it has a wow factor to it but the the more basic things it's really hard to start there first I'm talking about just trying to stick to a certain amount in your budget I'm talking about just you know basic savings saving in your savings account things like that that are kind of seen as boring kind of the basics it's hard to go in a direction that is not as exciting as something else that we want to do. 
but once again that less exciting route may be exactly where you need to go when it comes to your financial journey and your journey is a journey it's a process a process is a series of steps and it's important to make sure that you know the steps that you're taking make the most sense so for me choosing to stick to paying off credit card debt over replenishing my emergency fund that would absolutely be the more ego driven and prideful decision and that is because i was once debt free you know i use that label to define myself so i i identified as this debt free person and you know being back in credit card debt that's a huge blow to your confidence it's a huge blow to how you used to define yourself uh, and so yeah I, I do want to get back to paying off credit card debt and I won't lie like my ego even still right now it is screaming it's screaming thinking of having to let that credit card debt sit and um, focus on replenishing my emergency fine even if it's just for a couple of months it's a huge blow to my pride but really sitting with myself being completely transparent with myself sitting in the discomfort of feeling you know less than and feeling behind and feeling like I should be at this place right now when you really let go of um, these deadlines that you place on your life and let go of seeing what other people are doing let go of that ego needing to look and, and be a certain type of way you can really sit and and see things in its entirety you see things a lot more clearly and when you do that that's going to allow you to make the best decision for you long term all right guys so that wraps up the three questions that i always ask myself whenever i'm about to change directions financially and it seems like now i am changing directions it feels like every other month but once again that is life you have to go with the ebbs and flows and this is not a set in stone journey y'all it's going to be a living breathing journey because you are living and you are breathing and life is life in okay so i really do hope that this was helpful to you all leave me down below if you have recently had to shift and change directions and what that consisted of what that felt like and what questions did you have to sit down and ask yourself and i will catch you guys in the next video